Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. I have a special announcement. The book has finally been published. We recently released our uh, book, Crawl Space Repair Myths Busted, Avoid Bad Advice, Bad Decisions, and Bad Repairs. And I just want to let you all know that I wrote this book uh, because over the years I've heard a lot of bad information from contractors and people trying to sell you on their systems and things like that. So I thought this would be a good uh, topic to write about to help you as either the DIYer or the homeowner looking to hire someone to do your crawl space to make sure you avoid some of that bad information that's out there. And uh, currently, uh, this book is a number one new release bestseller in several categories. There's over 41 five-star reviews. So I encourage you to go on amazon.com and uh, just type in crawl space repair myths and the book will come up very quickly. You can either get the digital copy or of course the paperback as I'm holding here. And I'll also put a link down below in the description if you wanna just click there and take it to the book. But some of the things that we talk about in this are crawl space repair, uh, repairs. Uh, is it a waste of money? You know, a lot of people think that fixing the crawl space is not a good investment and I cover that. Uh, also humidity control myths that we've come across over the years. There's a lot of bad information out there about how to control humidity in the crawl space. And in my opinion, humidity is probably one of the number one enemies of your home, not just your crawl space. Um, also flooding myths that are out there. There's a lot of you know, different information about how to, how to address flooding and uh, whether you should or shouldn't even address flooding, whether that's important. And each chapter is followed up by action steps that, that we encourage you to take to help you uh, in that. We also talk about vapor barrier myths, whether uh, you can just throw down plastic or whether it needs to be uh, with other things, ventilation myths, insulation myths, and mold myths that are out there. And then finally, we wrap up the book with if you're looking to hire a contractor, I've got some great information about how to hire a contractor to make sure that they are uh, a good a contractor for you to hire and to make sure they're not trying to pull the wool over your eyes. And that could be applied uh, to any part of the uh, contractor experience, whether it's the crawl space, the basement, the attic, or even uh, some of the other remodels out there. So I hope you will look at this book. There's a preview on Amazon if you want to read a little bit about it. And uh, if you decide to purchase it, I hope you'll write us a review on Amazon. Hopefully it'll be a five-star review, of course. But uh, help us to get the information out there. This is a great resource for anyone uh, who's concerned about air quality, not just if you have a crawl space, but if you're concerned about indoor air quality at all, there's some great information on mold and what the number one cause of uh, asthma among children is and how to control that as well. So Michael Church, we appreciate all of you for purchasing this book and we hope you make it a happy and blessed day and we'll see you later.